Hey guys, so today is the first day of NAM and I'm so excited to be going. I loved it last year, it was my first time. And so it's currently like eight o'clock in the morning and I'm just getting ready to go. Let's go, see what's going on. Danish Pete. Danish Pete, uh, tell it. Wow. Chapman Guitars. Sounds beautiful through that bad cat. So when I played the Danish beat Tele, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I've only played Fender Telecasters before. But I first played this one acoustically and the feel was just incredible. I mean, like the neck and the frets just felt so comfortable and nice to play um, and then a bit later I actually played it plugged in and I was playing through a bad cat amp and the sound was just amazing I was like dude um, so I asked him what the pickups are on it and he said that they are Pete's signature pickups which have already been released before um, so they are already out, so I was thinking I might actually get some of those to put in my blue tele, um, just because they sound so good. So this is Cream Guitars, and they had this colour changing um, guitar, which was pretty cool, I've never seen that before. I didn't actually play these guitars myself, but I've seen other people play them, and they seem pretty impressed by them, so... That's a good indication of the sound. Loud! Seymour Duncan pickup. And I love a HSS pickup configuration. So I'm really in the mood for a Sprite. Um, one thing I've started to love since I got here is Sprite. I mean, I've always liked it, but now I'm just like, I want a Sprite all the time. And yeah. You gotta pull it down, I think. There you go. I loved the artwork across the fretboard in this guitar. Um, it's just so intricate, I don't even know how it's done, but it looks pretty amazing. And then I went over to the Electro Harmonics booth where I tried out their new Lizard Queen pedal, which is an octave fuzz. Mm -hmm. 
a resonator guitar but the cone is is in the back so that the, the top is made and the, and the cone is put in the back and it has the sound board so it gets kind of a hybrid resonator and acoustic sound which is really neat wow um, and because you played one you should just sort of hear what the different sound yeah. profile is yeah and then these carved backs i think have uh, a different quality of the projection and yeah. the other thing that, that is sort of that is unique to Bob Robinson, who's the builder, is the way he, he makes he makes it. So that's a carved back. But see how the cutaway is made? Yeah. It, it's this offset cutaway. And what's great about it is you uh, can play you can play the whole like just put, put your hand in the. It you always can, annoys me the way you can like. It's well, because, hard to reach. Because it, you call it the normal cutaway. The yeah. side is, you know, comes to the edge of the cut. But yeah. with this offset, you you can easily play these frets. Oh, which that's is really amazing. Great. Yeah. And um, just because I'm biased, these are 14 fret guitars. Yeah. Uh, but these 12 frets, these 12 fret guitars, and I'm, I, I don't mean to be, you, you're, I love 12 fret guitars because it, it moves, the scale length is the same. Yeah. But the bridge on 12 fret is moved more to the, you know, diaphragm, I'd call it, of the top, you know, the center of the top, so I think it's, they're a little more responsive. You know, you can see that on a 14 fret, it's, you, you know, it, it's higher up in the body of the guitar. I think here's, yeah. and the other thing is, is on a 12 fret, your hand position is really in the sweet spot. Yeah. In my opinion, it's up here. On a 14 fret, you know, your hand position naturally is back here by the bridge. Wow. So this one, this is my favorite guitar because it has all the benefit of a 12 fret, but you can play 19 frets on it. Yeah. Which is well, great. They all look so great on the back as well. This is uh, Claro Walnut. This is, Bob is the builder. Hi. This is Claro, actually from California. Oh, this wood is really? from California. But it's it's carved like a violin. It's it's solid. Yeah. It's solid wood, not like a form, a form back. And I think it, it um, it is more, it gives more projection on this side. And the other thing yeah. that's nice about it is they're actually super comfortable just yeah, to sit and play because it it's sort of contoured and you yeah. can feel a lot of, uh, you can feel when you play it. Yeah. So, uh, Thank you so much for watching. Um, check out my Patreon in the description. I post exclusive guitar videos, guitar lessons, and a bunch of other guitar contents. So if you like it, please join. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon.